Welcome uh, back to the barn build. So, it's come up to another weekend. We're going to try to get a fair bit of work done. It uh, actually looks super nice out here today. Sun's up. It, uh, it's actually been raining. And we, uh, we even had a bit of snow, which is kind of scary. But uh, nothing stuck. It's probably three or four degrees this morning. So it's pretty chilly, but it looks super nice. It's actually going to be a fairly, whew, fairly warm day. So we'll uh, get into this barn today. Lucky, come. So <clears throat> we got a little bit on today. Pretty much button up a few loose ends, and then uh, we didn't get the. Uh, we got a fair bit on today. Button up a few loose ends. We didn't get too much done with uh, sealing up last weekend, so we really want to get that done. I've got some leftover bits from the door, so we'll get them finished. That's just to put the motor up eventually, so just started having a look at that. So we'll get that done. The barn's pretty clean. The heat is up, as you would have seen in the last video. So today we'll be uh, getting some services to it. So we need to get power to it, we need to set up the thermostat, and we need to run a gas line. So they're the main jobs. And during the week I was working on the layout. So this is kind of, kind of what I was thinking, so you can get the idea. Um, so this is the entry door here, this is the main garage door where you're going to drive in. So we're going to stack, this is the mezzanine, and this is the mezzanine that I've drawn up here. So this is drawn up, I went through, did a bit of research on it, and uh, this will make code. Not that I really care, but this will actually make, make the code for America. So we need a fair bit of material, so we're going to get that ordered from, uh, probably get that ordered from Home Depot. Me and Amy have gone through all the places that we can buy it from locally, and they seem to be the cheapest for the whole lot as a package. So, and delivery, we can get that all those materials delivered out to us. So, yeah, that's the plan. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll get this door done real quick, then onto the heater. Hopefully, get that buttoned up, and then once the heater's buttoned up, seal this thing up. So, if I can get all that done this weekend, I can be super stoked. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Sweet, so that one's done, that was super easy. Another job ticked off the list. On to, uh, we're actually gonna go for a trip to Home Depot quickly. Pick the screws out and the mounting base for this mezzanine and uh, have a quick look at this pipe we need for the heater so we can find. Sweet, so we've been to Home Depot, picked up, uh, we've got all our mezzanine stuff ordered. That's been delivered tomorrow and the day after. Uh, and then I also went through, I measured all this up, off camera. Uh, the pipe and all the fittings we need for the heater. So we can crack on with that. Also got some glue. And I did get some, uh, I want to paint the doorway. Got to seal the front door up. So uh, I like the look of the uh, white door with the satin trim. So that's the look we're going to go for in here. So uh, yeah, we're going to seal up. Gonna seal up the doors basically where the door meets. I need to add a bit of uh, timber in here. So I'm gonna add a piece of timber and then I can seal onto the door. I'm gonna paint that black, oh, satin black. So I like the look of the white and black. So eventually probably repaint the barn. It's not really a priority for now, but yeah, get that done. So yeah, next step. Probably we'll start on the electrical work for the heater get the thermostat and the power in for it, and then uh, we can start getting this pipe up.
So we're getting towards the end of this day. It's uh, been fairly productive, to be honest. I've uh, been that conjured up, as you would have seen, that time lapse, but got it all in, put all the cables in. Um, was, I do need to go to Home Depot and grab a one gang plate for this, so we can mount that up, but that's all powered up and finished. Uh, the plug's up there, ready to plug in, the heater's wired, and then I've bent up this extra conduit up there to come down. It'll come out through here, eventually it'll go on the wall, once the wall's finished. But uh, for now, it'll we'll just pop through the wall, come out, terminate on that thermostat. So, uh, got another trip to Home Depot to do to get that sorted. I might do that tonight once I finish here. And then uh, I started on the hard line or the gas line for the heater. It's a three quarter pipe. And I've used my uh, trusty come alongs. I got them two bad boys sitting up there. So that'll, that'll be my helping hand today. I'll get them, they're pretty much in spot roughly where it's gonna hold the pipe. And then bending this pipe up is kind of like doing a hard line. You're pretty committed to where it's going. You gotta get the orientation right. So I've got a 90 on that end, which is gonna be the drop. I've got a couple of here joining the pipe together. And then I've got a 90 and a small bit of straight. So the 90 inch straight's on the gas heater end. So I'll, uh, you'll see me have some fun getting this bad boy up. So I'll throw this up, saddle it up, wind the vertical straight piece on so we can get that kind of pretty close to where it needs to be for the outlet to go outside and um yeah it's been a successful day i'll uh continue on tomorrow <music>
There was an A46 you might have seen in the videos I had up for sale. Someone bought it and uh, they wanted to pay some extra to get it delivered so I'm all about making some cash when I can so got that done. Blew a few hours of the day but, but uh, the uh, shop now smells like a timber mill so that was eh, it's not too bad. So uh, yeah can get back into it try to get this vent done and uh, it'll be a good thing. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the barn build. The uh, heater, we we're literally waiting on the tap and the connection. And the heater is officially done. So all the uh, gas lines in, the connections in for that. The electrical's done. The thermostat's done. The heater's mounted. So we are good for heat. So yeah, pretty stoked with that. It's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. The, uh, what's going on here and we'll continue on hopefully we've got a, probably another five weeks and uh, one of these weeks we'll probably going drifting so four weeks say to get all this done so we'll keep pushing along thanks for watching